Somebody's son said to me, those jeans are sitting so good on you the whole time I was sizing you up. And I'm like, wait, what? And they're like, yeah, and the store that I was standing in, I'm pretty sure the lady in the line saw me just looking at you. Oh, okay, okay. I'm glad that I was outside. And I wasn't like right there when all of this was happening because this would have made me uncomfortable. I understand that, but my body is not used to that. Monday morning and I'm literally so tired this weekend was absolutely rough because I was scheduled to work Saturday and Sunday which I did work those shifts but I also doubled those two days because they were running a little bit short and so going to work at like 6 a.m. for like the 7 a.m. shift and not coming off until 11 p.m. two days behind each other was absolutely rough however today when I come home I wanted to even stop by the nail salon because I broke a nail. I had to rub these down. It's tragic. So, um, today when I come home, I'm going to sleep until tomorrow morning because tomorrow morning I work retail and then Wednesday I go back to nursing. So, I just feel like I want to catch up on some sleep. I mean, for the most part, I've been fine. The first Saturday night, it was rough because I had never done it before, but last night it wasn't as bad because my body was you know used to the swing of things and I was on the same floor that I was on Saturday so I was already like acclimated but it was a rough shift to be completely honest however I'm ready I have like five minutes and I need to put my shoes on and get out of here so I'll see y'all later hi y'all I propped up the camera on <laughs> something and I do not know that it's gonna stay but I came on here this morning before I went to work and I'm like now that I left work I'm back but let me tell you something I am so tired I literally just worked. The camera battery is blinking. I'm a little slow right now. I worked five shifts in two days and I'm literally so tired. I doubled Saturday night, I doubled Sunday night, and I worked one shift today. And even today, they were asking if anybody wanted to stay over, and I'm like, yeah, I cannot do it. If I'm gonna do something like that again, I have to double one day, get a break, and then double another day because I need to come home the evening and like sleep to kind of like catch my body up because honestly today while I was at work I literally felt my body crashing on me so I knew that I would have had to come home and sleep if not I would have fallen asleep at work and that would not have been good for anybody not me definitely not the residents just good for nobody at all and like when I'm thinking about it I'm like damn I don't know how some of these people do it all the time and this morning one of the older ladies she was saying to me oh I used to double it like four days or whatever. I understand that, but my body is not used to that. And I feel like I can't really shock my system like that. I have to take my time and like get to that point, but I can't just up and do that all at once. Like I'm literally not used to that. And it's crazy because typically when I'm home, I don't fall asleep. Most times I go to bed like at 11 o'clock or like after 11 o'clock. So that's what I was thinking about when I decided to try it. So I'm like, you know, so I was saying to myself, you know, most times when I'm home anyways, I don't go to bed until like 11 p.m. So if I can be home and up until 11 p.m. not doing anything, I could definitely work this shift. And so that is essentially what I use to decide that I'm going to try it. And I did. And it was okay. And honestly... The first day was rough, but like um, Sunday, it wasn't as bad because like my mentally I was already prepared. But when I tell you today, I knew that I needed to come home. I know, I just know. I literally just know. And today felt like uh, it was just the roughest day. And I felt like it just felt like the roughest day mainly because like I'm literally so tired. I like want to come home and sleep. But like gosh, it, it, it was a long day. It was absolutely long. And I knew that I couldn't do the double today even though they were asking for people because tomorrow I work retail. And if I don't talk about anything else, I know that I always say that working retail is no walk in the park because you're literally standing the entire 10 hour shift. So like that in itself is so tiring. And the way how my managers are set up, I should have stopped by the grocery store today, but I just could not do anything other than come home. 
when I got out the block, I literally went on the bus because I'm like, yeah, I'm not even, I'm not even going to walk. You know, like, I'm so tired. I literally feel my body so drained. I'm wondering if I want to make, like, some fried rice or, hold on. I came in here and turned the stove on and I honestly do not even know, like, what I'm, like, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of all over the place because I just woke up and I know that I need to make something because I'm hungry. But I'm going to make some rice because this week is that week where, like, I'm going, 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 and there needs to be. When I have these weeks where I'm like, on go, 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 I like to make sure that I have something in the fridge so when I come home, there's always something to eat quickly, okay? So I'm gonna make some rice. But yeah, I haven't picked up the camera all week, and I'm just like, nah, I at least have to come on here to just check in and give you all a rundown of like what my week has been like. Keep in mind that I'm saying what my week has been like and today is literally Monday. It's Monday evening. And I already know that tomorrow when I leave retail, I am going to be so tired. And not too old is Wednesday. I still have to go to Dry Harbor. So I'm not going to get a break until Thursday, but I cannot wait for Thursday. I'm wondering if I want to pop in the shower this evening and like wash my hair and just wrap up the bun up, you know, because I, I honestly can't be bothered to deal with it. Maybe I'll do that. So when I'm done figuring out what I'm going to make here, I'll do that. As we're on the topic, I bought a few things um, this week that I want to show you guys. I bought, what did I buy? One, I bought a cute phone case. Okay, maybe I'll like this. Maybe I'll buy this in a small. Guys, I'll just be going through adding things to my cart just because it's cute. This is really cute though. I don't know if I've ever mentioned before, but like I literally love dresses and I specifically love dresses because it's already an outfit by itself. Just a dress is already an outfit by itself. All you have to find is like a shoe to go with it and you're pretty much ready to go. I cannot be bothered to um like when I'm going anywhere, I have the shirt and I can't for the life of me figure out what to wear with the shirt and what to, you know? I be struggling because when it's like that, and I realized this issue with myself a long time ago, when it's like that, I'll put something on and it looks so cute and I end up trying four other things on and then I'll ask my sister and my friend what they think about this and then I'll end up changing and changing only to change back into the first thing that I had put on because that's what everybody else liked even though I feel like a little uncomfortable in it but the whole time it was okay, I was just bugging out in my head. So I, most times I just don't want to have to go through that mentally and so I find that a quick little dress is like easier for me and don't get me wrong like I have other pieces like I have mad jeans and like um shorts and stuff like that because I remember um one by Friday I had loaded up on so many jeans from Fashion Nova ripped jeans um just all types of jeans I can't even think of the different type of jeans right now but like just all types of jeans. So like I have mad jeans to last me a while and I rarely ever wear jeans. The other day somebody said to me, I never see you in jeans. And I'm like, damn, you probably haven't because I like a more relaxed fit most times and you know, jeans are more structured. And so when I have jeans on, I feel so held up and so put together as opposed to like when I wear leggings, I feel so relaxed and so it's still cute, but it's like more relaxed. And so I wore a pair of jeans yesterday and somebody's son said to me those jeans are sitting so good on you the whole time I was sizing you up and I'm like wait what and they're like yeah and the store that I was standing in I'm pretty sure the lady in the line saw me just looking at you oh okay okay I'm glad that I was outside and I wasn't like right there when all of this was happening because this would have made me uncomfortable because I am like that. Anyways, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna make here. Um, I have the rice going. I'm gonna see if I wanna make some form of meat real quick because I literally just remember that I work retail tomorrow even though I've been talking my head off about it and I have no lunch to take with me. So I need to take something so I need to figure out if I can make something quickly or if there's anything here that's quick. So I'm just coming from downstairs. Got this package that I'm super excited about. I have two things. Oh gosh, I've been looking through this thing for forever. This box cutter. My friend's birthday is coming up, right? And his friend, it's one thing about him. He literally makes sure whenever we chill or whatever the case is, this is crooked. He literally always makes sure that I'm good. So his birthday is coming up and I wanted to get him something 
super super nice and I got him this on Amazon and he's like a he has like a mini bar at his house kind of but not really but like I wanted to get him something that was like super nice to like just add to his collection and he is an older guy so I felt like he would appreciate something like this I don't think he even knows that I'm getting him a gift so this is what the box look, looks like it says whisk off whisk off and it's like a little what do you call this like a little chest and um wow these are coasters it comes with two coasters that are so cute and so rustic and just manly looking i love that so the coasters are in the top here guys it's one thing about me okay i'm an amazing gifter i give very thoughtful gifts because um you know i want you to be able to look at this all the time and remember that Janine got you this and you know for it to be special to you so it has two whiskey um glasses down here and then it has these little whiskey um ice cubes i guess i don't know how you do them if you refrigerate them and then just drop it in there and then it has this little thing here but i feel like this is like an amazing gift for a man and then it has this right here so love that and I think he would really enjoy and appreciate this especially because he don't know that I'm getting him anything and we haven't spoken in like some days because like since I went back to work I've just been on go 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 so he's literally not going to be expecting it so I need to go over there and drop it off I think I want to wrap it however so I'm going to put it back in the little box that it comes in maybe tomorrow when I come from work I'm going to wrap it and give it to him. So I need to get some wrapping paper at Dollar Tree. Even I think I have some. But if not, I just need to get some. This other package, I don't know what it is, but I think I know what it is. It is what I think it is. I just made a sandwich and I didn't even start eating it yet or anything. I need to put this camera down so I can figure stuff out here. 